മോർണിംഗ് ടു ഓൾ എന്ന് ഫസ്റ്റ് സെമസ്റ്റർ കോമൺ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിൻ്റെ ഫോർത്ത് ചാപ്റ്ററാണ് ഞാൻ എടുക്കുന്നത് അതിൽ നമ്മൾ ചാപ്റ്ററിൻ്റെ പേര് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ക്ലോസ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ എന്നുള്ള ചാപ്റ്റർ ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ കുറച്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറയാൻ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുകയാണ് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് എങ്ങനെ എന്താണ് ക്ലോസ് എന്താണ് പ്രൈസ് എന്താണ് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് എന്താണ് സിമ്പിൾ സെൻറ്റൻസ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസ് കോംപ്ലക്സ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെയാണ് ഞാൻ പറയാൻ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രൈസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് എന്താണെന്ന് നോക്കാം നമുക്ക് ഓൺ ദ ചെയർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു കൂട്ടം വാക്കണം സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് വേർഡ്സ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് വേർഡ്സ് വിത്തൗട്ട് എനി വേർഡ് സോ ദർ ഇസ് നോ വേർഡ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇത് ഓൺ ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ വേർഡ് ദ ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ വേർഡ് ചെയർ ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ വേർഡ് സോ ഓൺ ദ ചെയർ is a phrase it's a phrase okay next behind the screen behind the screen is a phrase it's a phrase because there is no verb in it behind is not a verb the screen is not a verb and there is no you if you look at it you can see that there is no subject there is no predicate there is no verb okay so a, a phrase is a group of words without subject without a group uh, verb without predicate okay so uh, it's there is no complete meaning also there is no complete meaning okay so without subject without predicate no complete meaning this group of words are called a phrase but if i write it i sat on the chair i sat on the chair this is not a phrase because there is the subject i is a subject sat on the chair is a predicate i is a subject and sat on the chair is a predicate so you can see that predicate with the predicate you you can see always see sat is a verb is a verb so there will be a verb in each predicate okay there will be a verb in each predicate so uh, a group of words with the subject and predicate and a complete meaning is called sentence it's a sentence because this is a group of words with the subject and predicate and the complete meaning a complete meaning it is called a sentence but this sentence itself if i write like this i sat on the chair when i felt tired okay i sat on the chair when i felt tired we can say that this complete words make a sentence i sat on the chair when i felt tired is a sentence It's these complete words make a sentence but if i say i sat on the chair till here okay the same that i want here i sat on the chair this was a sentence but here when this is part of another sentence we cannot say we cannot call it a sentence then what can we call what is the peculiarity peculiarity of these words there is a subject here i is the subject sat on the chair is a predicate i is the subject here and it sat on the chair is a predicate so here also subject is the predicate itself but the difference between these words and these words are one is a, one is a sentence and it makes a complete meaning and the other one is not a sentence okay here i sat on the chair is not a sentence it is a part of sentence and all the things that were in this sentence is there here also because i is a sat on the chair is the i is a subject here and the sat on the chair is a predicate here everything is there but can we call it a sentence no we cannot call it a sentence because this complete one is a sentence so i sat on the chair when i felt 
tired this a sentence but we cannot call i sat on the chair uh, when it becomes a part of this full sentence we cannot call this one a sentence we can call it what can we call it clause so that is what clause okay clause so clause what is clause then here the subject is the predicate is the then um, it's a part of another sentence that is a part of sentence i sat on it here when i felt tired that's a complete sentence and this one is i sat on it here is a part of one sentence so we can call it and part of part of a sentence okay so we can call it clause so then what is clause what can we call this one so clause is a uh, group of words with the subject predicate and part of another sentence part of another sentence is very important okay clause is part of another sentence subject is the predicate okay that is what clause then in this sentence itself we can see two clauses what are they one is i sat on the chair one clause then i felt tired is another clause here i is the subject and felt tired is the predicate i is the subject and felt tired is the predicate so this is another clause this one is one clause and this is another clause okay here also subject is the predicate is the this is also a part of a large sentence a, uh, this is a part of this sentence i sat on the chair when i felt tired so we can we can see that this one this one combines these two clauses isn't it so what can we call this one that the word which combines two clauses two phrases what can we call it this is called conjunction conjunction this is called conjunction there are two types of conjunctions you can see two types of conjunctions one is coordinating conjunction coordinating conjunction second one is subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction coordinating conjunctions are and or but yet nor for so etc so coordinate these are the coordinating conjunctions and or but yet nor for so okay uh, i wrote here seven uh, seven coordinating conjunctions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and subordinating conjunctions are unless if when okay wherever wherever okay however etc okay these are the subordinating conjunctions so there are two types of conjunctions one is coordinating conjunction the other one is subordinating conjunction if you study coordinating conjunction only you can you will definitely get subordinating conjunctions you can study only coordinating conjunctions only seven one now the uh, uh, important coordinate that we use uh, daily uh, are only coordinating conjunctions and or but it nor or so okay if you study these coordinating conjunctions you will definitely get subordinating conjunctions also okay these are the uh, conjunctions these conjunctions are used to combine two clauses this this is here one clause i sat on the chair is one clause then i felt tired is another clause these two clauses are combined using uh, subordinating conjunction is it is subordinating conjunctions okay then i am going to say one thing that is very very important here two clauses are there one is i sat on the chair the other one is i felt tired these two clauses are combined using subordinating conjunction when is a subordinating conjunction right so when these two clauses when two clauses are combined using subordinating conjunction it is called 
one great thing that is called complex sentence. Okay, don't forget that complex sentence. Complex sentence. Okay, then what is complex sentence? Complex sentence is a uh, two clauses combined using a subordinating conjunction is called complex sentence. Two clauses combined using subordinating conjunctions are called complex sentence. Okay. Let's see here. I wrote here one sentence. I sat on the chair. The other, sorry, one clause here. I sat on the chair. And another clause is I felt tight, right? Okay, there are two clauses, and these two clauses are combined using subordinating conjunction when, right? Okay, if I write like this, I just wrote one uh, one clause here. I sat on the chair, on the chair. Here we have subject I or sat on the chair is a predicate, so we have everything here. Subject is the predicate here. And uh, do you get a complete meaning here? So I sat on the chair. So yes, I sat on the chair. That's a complete sense. And it makes a sentence, right? When it is not a part of, when this clause is not a part of this last sentence, we can call this one a sentence, isn't it? This is called a simple sentence. Simple sentence. Okay? Or this was a clause when it is a part of the sentence, right? The I sat on the chair was a clause when this when it was a part of a larger sentence. I sat on the chair when I felt tired. We could call it a clause. But but when we separated it, I sat on the chair. Okay, when we separated it. Uh, can we call it a clause? No, we cannot call it a clause. What can we call it? We can call it a sentence. Or this one was a clause, but when it was separated, we could get a complete sense of the meaning. Sense. Okay? And it was there was a subject and predicate. So we can call it a simple sentence. Or we can call it an independent clause. Because we get a complete meaning. Independent clause. Independent clause okay because this clause gets a complete meaning when it is not a part of the larger sentence that is why we call it independent clause there is another name for this clause that is um, principal clause principal clause okay the other name for this clause is principal clause so we can call this one I sat on the chair is an independent clause or principal clause. Right? Do you understand that? Okay. Next, I'm going to write the other clause here. I felt tired. This uh, I felt tired. I felt tired. I felt tired. So here also subject is the felt tired is the predicate, subject is the and the predicate is the everything is the and it was a clause because it was a, a part of the larger sentence, isn't it? So I felt tired was a clause. Now can we call it a uh, this one? I felt tired uh, as an independent clause because the meaning is not complete here. Okay. I felt tired. I felt tired when? Well, so many questions are there. I felt tired. Okay? Many questions are there. Now, complete sense is not there. But it gets sense when it is a part of another sentence. Okay? When it was a clause. Isn't it? And it was combined using conjunction when. Okay? But this is called, called dependent clause. Dependent clause. So what is dependent clause? Dependent clause is a group of words with the subject and predicate 
and it is a part of another sentence and it makes sense when it is a part of another sentence so it does not make sense complete meaning or complete sense when it is alone when this clause is alone okay so we will we will not get complete meaning when this clause is alone we will get complete meaning when it is a part of another sentence that is called dependent clause this dependent clause has another name that is subordinate clause subordinate clause okay so what is the other name for dependent clause subordinate clause okay it depends the from the name itself we can understand it depends other sentences or other clauses for the complete meaning so, so this this dependent clause or subordinate clause depends other sentences or other clauses for the complete meaning but independent clause that i can on the chair is an independent clause because it does not depend on other words or other clauses or other sentences for the complete meaning isn't it so without other clauses it gets complete so that it is, it is independent it is not a dependent it is independent and this the other name for this independent clause is principal clause okay so what is a compound sentence compound sentence next one is compound sentence compound sentence okay i went to the market i went to the market and bought some milk the i just bought here another sentence i went to the market and bought some milk here also we can see two clauses one is i went to the market the other one is bought some milk okay two clauses are there. and there is a conjunction called coordinate and is a coordinate conjunction and or appropriate is not nor or so these are the coordinate conjunctions and here also we have used a coordinating conjunction and and here we have two clauses one is i went to the market is one clause the other one is bought some milk here uh, here we have subject i went to the market is a predicate and the other one is bought some milk is a predicate and i the predicate so the subject i is uh, here also but we do not repeat this i in the sentence because we do not want that so that we have avoided that i okay here here also we have subject i so here subject is the predicate is the here also subject is the predicate is the and this is these are the group of words with complete meaning i went to the market we have group of words with complete meaning and i bought some milk there there are other group of words with complete meaning here we have two independent clauses so what is independent clause independent clause is a group of words with the subject is the predicate is the and it can come it, it can can uh, stand alone and give complete meaning when it is alone okay so i went to the market so it when it is alone we have complete meaning this is independent clause or this is principal clause and i bought some milk is also independent clause and principal clause okay these are these two clauses two independent clauses are combined using and and is a coordinating conjunction so this sentence is called compound sentence here in compound sentences we have two independent clauses combined using using uh, a coordinating conjunction that is called compound sentence then the other one complex sentence i told you this is a complex sentence i sat on the chair when i felt tired here in complex sentences uh, uh, one independent clause is combined with the other dependent clause one independent clause 
is combined uh, with the other dependent clause by using the conjunction. This conjunction is not called coordinating conjunction. It is called subordinating conjunction. When is a subordinating conjunction? Okay. So when one independent clause, one independent clause is combined using a subordinating conjunction with a dependent clause, it is called a complex sentence. Okay. This is called a complex sentence. Okay. Then one independent clause, sorry, two independent clauses are combined using a subordinate, sorry, coordinating conjunction and the or but the episode nor for so this coordinating conjunction this is called a compound sentence okay i i feel you have understood what is simple sentence what is compound sentence what is complex sentence so in the simple sentences we have only one subject and one predicate okay one subject and predicate so for example i sat on the chair is only a simple sentence. Subject is a predicate. Is a. Okay, I sat on the chair is a simple sentence. Here one subject is a and predicate is a. So this is called a simple sentence. Then the, then the compound sentence is compound sentence is two independent clauses. I went to the market and bought some milk. So here are two independent clauses come uh, combined using one coordinating conjunction. This is called compound sentence. Compound sentence. Okay. The other one is complex sentence. Complex sentence. One independent clause is combined with uh, one or more dependent clauses by using uh, subordinating conjunction. When is a subordinating conjunction? Subordinating conjunction. If uh, when uh, unless. So these subordinate subordinating conjunctions. It is called complex sentence. Okay, I think you have understood the lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day.